Hello everyone, welcome to a quick little video, well, I don't know. I would like for this to be a series someday, but uh, the game is only out as a demo so far. It's been on my wish list for a while, and uh, some kind of Steam event? What's the Steam event that's going on today? <clears throat> the Steam Game Festival Summer Edition is like showing off demos of games. And uh, so this... Something weird is going on with my taskbar. Um, why? Let me just like, my taskbar won't go away. Uh, is this window? Ah, I see. Someone on Steam noticed I was playing this game and said that I would like it. Um, anyway, so this is, this is a puzzle game that's been on my, my radar for, I don't know, when, when was it announced or whatever? Like a, less than a year ago, I think. Um, it reminded me a lot of uh, Recursed, so uh, I thought I would give it a try. I've actually played uh, through the demo a fair bit. I started playing off-camera because I wasn't really sure if um, how much content would be in the demo. Um, but all the puzzles so far were pretty simple, um, so I'll, I just like kind of flew through most of them, so you guys didn't miss that much. But we are starting over from the beginning, so you can see them all. It's kind of like you know a Sokoban-style game. By the way, the reason there's no music is not because I don't play music, although I don't. It's because there's no friggin' music. Even, like, I don't understand. I thought there was music earlier when I was playing it. But there isn't any now. I don't know. Anyway, so you have to, you have to like, move the blocks into the, the block-shaped things and then yourself here, and, and then the level's over. I'm actually going to try quitting real quick and start over and see if I can get the music, because I'm pretty sure there was some. There's nothing weird in the settings screen. I don't know. No music. Okay. Anyway, so it's a Sokoban style thing. You can push chains of things. They don't kind of like get stuck behind each other. Okay, this was not the most efficient way to solve the puzzle, but whatever. And then you go here. Um, but this is not the interesting part. Um, we get to that later. This is this is all just like, hey, can you, do you know the basics of Sokoban? And like, I'm not good at it by any means, but I understand how to move things around. Oh, the music has arrived. Okay, well, let me turn it back down. There we go. Okay, so this is where it gets cool. This would be, an, like, what's with this blue thing? Um, this would be kind of an insoluble puzzle in Sokoban, but when you, like, push something that can't move and there's a hole in the side of it, then stuff shrinks down to go inside. So we kind of push the the white thing, or the, the, the square, through this, and then we squeeze through it ourselves and we get out. So that's that's kind of the main thing of this, this game, is shrinking stuff into smaller, um, you know, zooming in and out as you go through these pieces, or as these puzzles. Uh, right. So, again, this is another one that looks impossible in Sokoban. You can't ever separate these two pieces to get them here and here. But you can if you push them to here and then squeeze into one of them, right? Uh, yeah, and this piece, you need to, to get it down. You have to get on its left and uh, push it right. Uh, I guess I need to go up here and then around. Yes, and we'd like to push this left, which is hard. So we actually have to go in through the top, come out, go back around. Uh, what's in here? Yeah, there's, there's a goal. In, there's a goal space inside that little recursive space. So we have to push that thing in there. Go around. Ta-da! Um, this is basically the same puzzle again. I'm not sure why they're... Oh, no, no, it's not. You got me. Uh, it's reverse. We have to... We have to be inside. And the thing has to be outside. Okay, so I forget. I, I got, like... When I was playing, before I decided to start recording, I got partway through this screen. I was like, actually, there's a lot of stuff here. I should do this on camera. Um, 
So we need this on the bottom, which means we want to use this as a, a turnaround space. And, uh, right, this one, the trick is you can squeeze both of these blocks through at the same time if you put one inside the other. Or, more importantly, you can, I guess, squeeze the blue... Th if you just push the blue thing down, you only need one block, but you need a way to turn it around once it gets down there. Um, on this one, the only, like, important thing of note is that this has to be the block on the far left, so you can be inside it. Um, it's also kind of teaching you that um, this green block can count as the block that goes here, while at the same time I'm inside it, counting as the block that goes here. Um, I've solved this one. What do I remember about it? Why can't I just... Oh, right. I, what I didn't notice was that these orange boxes have a, a square in them saying they need to be filled. So we have to push a box in there, and then we push another box in here. And there you go. Uh, the only way to be productive is to go this way. And we see there's more zooming in to do. Um, we have to get this out so we can go into it. The only thing you can do is go in here, and then you rescue this box. Lots of zooming out, and finally we have the box we need. Uh, okay, over here? Is this as far as I got, maybe? Yeah, I, I haven't seen this puzzle yet. All right. Uh, so what's going Oh, no. Okay. All right. This is where it starts to look more like Recursed, is this box is inside of itself. And we need them all solved simultaneously, huh? Well, they've kind of... Can I leave? Ooh, I can. <laughs> I can't go out here because this, this thing is in the way. Okay. So I can leave this box and I can enter the box, and it's kind of the same thing. Oh, boy. But now I can go out through here, right? and push this up, go back in so that I can push this on top of itself and go to the exit. And so now every kind of fractal copy of this box has, there's like infinitely many, um, actually I could just, I don't have to go into that box, I could just leave. There's infinitely many, um, whoa, that's weird. This is kind of a way to teleport from, like, the left corner to the top right, in a way. Anyway, there, there's infinitely many of these goal spaces in the top right, and each one of them has another square in it, which has another goal space in it. That's kind of cool. Um, okay, so we must be leaving through here, pushing it up, and now what? Go here seems pretty practical. I'm not sure why yet. Ah! because it means I come in through here and I can push it down. Got it. Uh, what's going on here? Okay, so remember these are not copies of the space. So any, any action you take inside one affects all the other copies. They're the same space. Um... Well, I suppose I could push it down and still get to the left of it. Which is sort of useful because I can push this guy out, right? And then I just sneak in through here. Oh man, this is making this is making my head hurt a little bit. Mm. So this is still just a copy of the same room, right? Okay, not a copy, it's it's the same room. But I can't always see in great detail what's going on in those small boxes, so I, I want to like go into them to check if they're really the same box. Um, yeah, this is pretty simple. We need to push this down so we can get the square out, and then push it further down so we can go out that side. Okay. Well, the only thing we can do right now is push this up three times. What do we do after that? Probably push it over here so that I can push it down. 
and approach things from the other side. Oh, I'm not sure how that's helped. I still can't push it left, right? Hmm. Oh, I can. If I put it there and exit through the top, then I can push it left. Oh, I forgot. I did this one. As, 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 there's, there's like an optional something or other. Uh, what's hard about this? I think we have to use this as a mobile turning around space, probably. Well, that didn't accomplish anything. Why don't you stay there, and then I'll push you up? Yeah, now there's room to push you up here, and I can just stand on the goal. Okay. So, as I said, I really don't know how, how long this game goes. Okay, what is this? Um, it has a box. I can go in there. How am I to interact with this at all in any interesting way? Um, oh, okay. I can push it here, adjusting the box inside, but leaving myself room to push it down again. Got it. Um, we can do a similar thing using this as a backstop. Even though we don't have the... the correctly shaped top wall like we did in the last one. Uh, okay, so they're really hammering home the idea of using this, huh? Um, I guess we can do something similar with this. Push it up against the top wall, but that doesn't have to be the only top wall it's ever in, right? There you go. So this piece is interesting. You can't push a block through it. And indeed, if you ever push a block into it, something bad will probably happen, right? Well... No, not necessarily. Okay, what you can do is um, push a, a block partway through navigate the thing into a corner you want it to be in, and then push it back out the same side it came in. You can't push a block through, but you can still use it to move a block. Okay, back to the, the fractal puzzles. Mm. Don't we just push this to the, the side, come out the bottom, and then push it left? Yeah, all right. Uh, this looks very similar, but we have this extra block now for some reason. Um, question. What happens, by the way, if I push this? Okay, it does suck up a block. Interesting. That looks sort of interesting because of this area here, right? I'm not sure exactly why that's useful, but it could be. Um... All right, I think the idea of this nook is that I have to push this thing oops, to the far end here, block this area off. Now I can come out the bottom and go. All right. All right, this looks like more optional side quests kind of thing. All right, a variation on the theme, I guess. This time we have to end with this block on one of these two things as well, huh? Um, what is the purpose of that area on the right? You can't use it to turn around under ordinary Sokoban rules, but if you could use this thing to emerge out the bottom of a block, 
that was placed, say, here, you could come out the bottom, push it up, and then push it back out, right? So that, I think, is what that area is for. So at some point, we need to push this thing over to the right. The question is, where should this block be when we do that? Hmm. Hmm. It's hard to put it anywhere good, isn't it? Because we're going to come out of this thing to here, right? And if the yellow block is below us, then it'll be pushed here and it'll be stuck? Yes, it will actually be stuck. We could rescue it by pushing the, the level onto it, but then the level would be stuck in this space instead, and we couldn't recover that, I don't think. So... We can't be pushing the yellow block out this way. Because that's where we have to come out from, which would put us here. And I don't think we can put it on the right wall either. The purpose of this right wall is for us to come out and walk that way. Um, could I put it here? That would be useful if I could do that. Because then it could be here. I could come out here, push the level out, come back, push the square out, right? But how do I get it there? And the, the shape of the level suggests that's the thing you might want to do, is use this top space for something. How do I get it here? All right, what was the beginning state of the level like? Did I did I mess something up? Um, how do I reset again? This game has weird... Okay, that button, apparently. It has weird joypad, or uh, 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 gamepad controls. Like, I don't think it knows what kind of controller I'm using. It told me to press A, but the button is labeled X, so I don't know. Anyway, uh, no, so I didn't really do anything weird yet, I think. This sticky outy bit on the bottom is conspicuous, right? I guess it's just a way to prevent you from... Ah, you can't push a block out the bottom, actually. I didn't notice that. And if you push a block in through the top... Oh! It's not true that you can't push a block out through the bottom. It's almost true. But you can do a trick like we did before, right? Leave the block here. Get the block here by pushing it up into the level. Then you can come here and go down and push it out. Uh, but how is that useful? <sighs> okay, let's try to think a little methodically about this. What actions can we take right now that are at all interesting? We can't get this yellow piece off of a wall. Uh, except perhaps by like, you know, doing this and trapping the level itself against a wall, right? Which is not very promising. Um... We could... Yeah, we can't even get it off this... Um, these four squares, except if we push it in here. Now, what has that accomplished? Nothing much. What if we did something like this? That's cute, but I'm stuck and also the level is stuck, so that's not the answer. Um, the other thing is like you could push it here, all the way to the right, which feels bad, 
But I think we've learned previously that that's not necessarily unrecoverable. You can conceivably push the level into it or push it into the level or something if you do like this, right? It's not really good for solving the puzzle in general, um, but you could do something like this and get the yellow block back. Um, I can't see how to actually do anything with it once you've got it back. Right, but, um, hmm. All right, I'm gonna leave this bonus puzzle for now. Hello? Um, and just go here to the one that presumably is a bit easier. Okay. This area is obviously very um, conspicuous. Aha! This is how we can get it off the wall. Great. Um, oh, whoops, don't do that. Come back here. Cool. Now we can move on? Yeah. Ah, this is the end of the demo, huh? Yep, 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 yep. Oh, I love it. The undo button is how you leave the credits. Very cute. Not the credits, the, the sales pitch. This one's got me. Because I can't see what to do to make any progress. The only way to get the yellow square inside the blue square, well, of course, right now it's inside the blue square. So that's something. But let me try to rephrase. Our ultimate goal, I'm just gonna put down the controller and think for a bit and talk through it. The ultimate goal here, is to liberate the yellow square, move it to the left somehow, right? Um, the main way to move it left would be to get to the right of it, right? Um, but I can't see how to do that. So the alternative way to move it left would be to push it into the blue square somehow and move the blue square left and then extricate it, right? That's, that's what this kind of like cubby hole right here is about, I think. It's a space to store the yellow cube while we move the blue one and then push it back out again. So, in that sense, it would be sufficient to just get the yellow cube inside. It's not a cube, it's a square. Uh, well, actually, it's some sort of impossible object, but all right. It's a multi-dimensional hyper, hyper cube. Um, just getting the yellow thing inside the blue thing would accomplish that goal. But how do we do that without trapping the blue thing, right? In order to push the yellow one into the blue one, you have to push it up into the blue piece. And the blue piece has to be up against a wall when you do that or else they'll just both be pushed. And if the blue piece is up against a wall, I don't think you can, uh, up against a wall on the top, I don't see how you can ever get it out, right? So 
So the other way to get the yellow thing inside the blue thing would be to have like this, right? Um, I have the blue thing against the wall on the bottom. And this is one obvious location to do that, but of course... Whoa. Wait, was that interesting? Did I do something interesting there? You can go out through this and push the, uh, the yellow one. I guess I knew that. I talked about doing it earlier. I don't see how it's particularly helpful right now. Because I could already... If I can push the blue thing here, I could just stand here myself and then push without having to, like, go through... Right, I could just, um... I could just do this. <laughs> um... But the point that I was making was, okay, you can also get the yellow thing inside the blue thing this way, but then the blue thing is stuck on that wall. So if you could get the yellow thing onto some other wall, say this one. Oh. Well, I don't see how this has worked. Right? I'm in here now. And the blue thing is not necessarily stuck yet, right? But I still can't get it out, right? Like, I could have gotten to this state much more easily without having to transit through extra dimensional space. Hmm. So the point of pushing everything over to the right here was to try to get the yellow thing inside the blue thing without getting either of them stuck. I don't really see how this has accomplished that goal or even made progress towards it. What am I missing? Am I, like, stating something as fact, like there's only one way to do X or only three ways to do X when actually there are four? Because, like, what I'm really looking at is what, like, is there some way I haven't thought of to get... to get the yellow piece inside the blue piece without them being up against a wall, because that seems problematic. I don't see any way to rescue the blue thing from a wall. Okay, so maybe there's some solution that doesn't involve rescuing it from a wall. Just push it against this wall and then leave it there. Is that possible? It's hard to imagine. It's not even really walls that are a problem so much as corners is that true i don't know when it's on a wall you can move it along that wall but once it's in a corner it's stuck and the problem is i don't see any walls that i'm excited to move it along what happens if i just like yeah i can't push it up against a wall and like have it collapse into some sort of black hole. Um, so like say I start with that. Okay, here, here's a like, 
We were trying to enumerate all the things I could do that might be interesting. What are they? I don't know. Um, I could push this thing right, in which case I don't think there's anything useful to do except to push it right again, at least once. From this state, what can I do? I could push this thing again. Okay, I mean, this seems bad, but maybe it's not a completely lost state. What else could I do? I could put this thing somewhere new, or I could exit through this thing. At the moment, maybe think in terms of regions. Right now, the box and I are in the, the, the level and I, let's say, are within the same region. So leaving through it doesn't do anything. It just puts me back somewhere I could reach anyway. Whereas like, if I do this, we're in different regions and this becomes a meaningful, although perhaps not helpful, step. Right? And like, maybe you don't even think about the box and me being in a region, but like the bottom end of the box and me being in a region, right? Because right now, okay, we're, we're in different regions in the sense that I can't even go through this thing. Um, but at the moment, we're in the same region. Um, Once I do this, we're kind of in different regions and going through here is a useful step. And in fact, an irreversible one. I have to undo, of course, but I, I can't go back the way I came, which is quite interesting, I think. I still don't quite get why this is here. Suppose it weren't here, would be would there be some easy solution? If so, maybe backtracking from that easy solution can help me discover the harder one. Um I mean, I guess for starters, it would let me do something that I don't even understand the ramifications of yet. If I push the level out through itself, what on earth happens? It seems like I, I'm like deleting the universe there. So maybe this is just to stop me from deleting the universe. So pushing the blue box to any area to any square where its bottom and I are still in the same region is not a productive thing to think about, I think. Right? Because all it lets me do is walk out through here to some place I could have gotten anyway. Say I move it here, right? That doesn't help. All those spaces are the same. Likewise here. It just doesn't do anything. So if I am going to push this, I think it has to be into the the area on the right. So we've looked at some solution, some ideas around doing this, right? But I don't really see how that's good because I really have trapped the blue piece here. I can come out like this, or I can go in like this. And this is kind of where I wanted to, in some sense, leave this piece, right? I want to get that piece there so that I can move the blue square to here. Exit the blue square, pushing 
the yellow one to here. That was sort of the idea. But if in order to do that, I have to strand the blue piece, I haven't really accomplished anything, I don't think. But how? This is what's killing me. I like, I can't see any way to get the yellow thing inside the blue thing without stranding it. You have to either push the yellow thing up against the blue thing and have it not move, which means it is a wall above it, and I'll never get it down from that wall. Or push the blue thing into the yellow thing and have the yellow thing not move, which means the blue thing's just been pushed into a wall below it. And now, not only can't I move the blue thing up ever again, I can't even leave through here because there's a wall here. So what the heck? I'd like to solve this puzzle so that I can do look at the last one in the demo. But I'm just like stumped. What? What could I be overlooking? Some some way to push the yellow piece into the blue piece while they're not together against a wall. Like for example, if it were here and I can somehow push the yellow piece into it without the blue piece moving, say I could do that by standing here. I don't know, it doesn't seem impossible, but suppose it could be done. Then I could still move the blue piece. Cool, I guess. Um, I guess it would be even more productive to do so like here, right? Because then I could move it in any direction that I wanted. And then I could pop the yellow thing out like this and I'd, it'd be gravy. Um, not something weird like, oh, this yellow piece is, does something weird when you push it against a wall. No, it's just a, it's just a block. So supposing I start with this, I'm pretty sure I'm toast, right? I'm never getting this thing out of here and it's never gonna cover this space. There's not some way that I can get multiple yellow blocks, which would be one way to not care about being unable to move the, the blue thing anymore, right? If I could put a yellow here and a yellow here. But the only way to make a new yellow block is to push it through, like push it out of the level so that it comes out here. Um, or push it into the level so that it comes in here. And in either case, I've created one and destroyed one. So those cancel. So I really do have to have the blue thing free to move or anyway, free to get over to the left side. Um, and as soon as I push it up against there, I'm dead, right? So I can't ever push this thing all the way in. I can push it part of the way in and then push it out. But in order to do that, I had to do something weird with this yellow guy, right? I guess I could leave the yellow guy out of it for a moment. Ooh, this is cool. Isn't it? Didn't I solve the puzzle? I did. 
Okay, so what what was the key insight I was mi wait a minute. There's more levels here? Oh, I see. It's just um this is the second optional thing, is that right? Yeah. So what was the key that I was missing here? I was thinking that if I have to push the yellow thing in here, I kind of have to do it first. But that's not so. This piece is more flexible than the yellow piece. And so I can push it in first. Wait, is that what I did? Yes. If I push it in first, I can have them take up the two flexible spaces inside this turnaround. Okay. All right, one more puzzle to go. We have to get these guys both up top. And then exit, which I assume will be easy once we've gotten the two blocks up there. Um... Oh, this is my opportunity to find out what happens if you push the level through itself. What? I'm not allowed in. Okay, but I am in some kind of weird extra dimensional space, so that's cool. Oh, I can't get back into that either? What's happening out here? <laughs> All right, anything different happen if I push it out this way? What if I push this out? Well, that wasn't great, but I could push it out through the left, say. Wait a minute. Oh, I look so weird. Why am I in the space above here? This is so bizarre. What does this mean? Yeah, you can't push anything back in anymore. So what's the point of coming up here if you can't ever do anything? I guess we'll find out in a later game, huh? In, in, the, in the full game? Okay. Now if we push this thing out, then what happens is just totally normal and we've seen it before, right? Um, yeah, so what I need to do is come out here and push this thing to, mm, hang on, leave, mm, no, I can't do that either, because now I can't, I can't actually push it to the right. supposed to do in that top area like I can push this up and then push it right ah don't push it all the way right push it like that far now there's enough space that you can get the yellow block up here and push it right. We still have enough space to recover this. Okay, so I want to know what's up with infinite space or whatever, <laughs> but I guess we'll never know. Anyway, so uh, yeah, I'd be interested to know when this is coming out, but so far it's just like a demo. So uh, I guess that's that's uh, what's what's the name of this called? Uh, Patrick's Parabox Demo. So look forward, I guess, to the full game coming out. I do encourage you to wishlist it on Steam if this was interesting to you. And uh, I guess I guess we're done here. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.